Today I'm joined by Nigel Dubé, who is usually the general manager of the Lloydminster Bobcats, but today I'm talking to him about his appointment of being the director of operations for Team Canada West at the World Junior A Challenge. And so thank you so much for being with me today, Nigel. Well, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. And so, Nigel, how did you get appointed for this job? Yeah, well, this summer, uh, moving into just the general manager role with the Bobcats gave me the opportunity to put my name in uh, for the, this position. So I uh, went through that process with Hockey Canada uh, throughout the summer and, and into the, the beginning of the fall and, uh, you know, was able to get the call that, uh, you know, the position was mine. And, and uh, it was a huge honour and, and privilege to get that call and, and uh, something I'm very thankful for and grateful for the opportunity. Uh, but that began, um, you know, at the end of summer and then into there it was um, going through the process of, of beginning to make lists on players uh, and then also going through the staff selection um, you know moving forward and then here we are um, you know today I'm out at the Manitoba Junior Hockey League showcase in Winnipeg um, and uh, have done a lot of traveling um, and doing a lot of uh, watching of hockey uh, outside of just the Bobcats and, and what we do there on a daily basis but uh, it's been a lot of fun. And so you kind of got into it a little bit, Nigel, with uh, what your jobs are going to be for Team Canada West, but what are all the responsibilities you're going to have before the tournament, as well as those responsibilities that you will have during the tournament when it takes place in Nova Scotia? Yeah, similar um, to, to what I do on the daily with our club organization, uh, you know, it was a matter of going through the, the staff selection, uh, doing that and, and selecting the staff uh, for the team, which we did there. And uh, Scott Barney from the Humboldt Broncos will be the head coach. And, um, you know, we have Alex Calvin, Brian uh, add to the staff there. And um, part of it now is is the player selection, um, going through that and, and, and picking the roster, putting the roster together, um, you know, and then uh, also just overseeing in the operations of how Team Canada West will, will operate, uh, what the staff roles are, you know, once we get to the tournament, uh, making sure that uh, all the distractions are taken care of and anything that needs to be done, um, you know, I'll look after that so the coaches can coach and the players can play um, once we get out to Nova Scotia there in December. And so this is an international tournament, so we will see teams from the USA and all throughout Europe coming to this, as well as the team from Team Canada East. And the Team Canada West has done historically quite well at this tournament, winning a few golds, a few silvers, and a few bronzes over these past few years. Is there any pressure coming down from being part of a very good program that has been Team Canada West at this tournament? Yeah, well, the last time Canada West won gold was 2017 um, and, and bronze in 2018. So for us, uh, obviously, anytime uh, you represent your country and, and Team Canada West here, we want to win the gold medal. Um, that, you know, that's what our goal is here. Um, you know, it's it's a little bit different this year. For the first year, there's there's no selection camp. Um, typically, there's a selection camp prior to heading out to the tournament. Uh, but this year, you know, we're tasked with uh, picking a roster without that camp. Uh, but then at the end of the day, uh, the goal is still the same at the end. Uh, we want to win the gold medal, and, and that's what we want to do. And, um, you know, that, that is uh, what, what our drive is for here. And so what teams and leagues are you going to be able to draw from Nigel to make up this team for Team Canada West to take on the rest of these international teams so it's uh, made up of the alberta junior hockey league manitoba junior hockey league saskatchewan junior hockey league and, and the sijhl um with uh, the bchl not being part of hockey canada any longer um that you know they're the, those players aren't uh, uh, able to play on it so it's uh from uh, alberta to the si uh, and everything in between so um you know i had the opportunity to go to the alberta junior showcase we played in it uh, but i was there for the full week um, in manitoba here this week uh, we'll get out to the uh, you know saskatchewan showcase too as well and then um, when i can and and since uh, the beginning of the season i've uh, been making trips uh, to all those provinces to you know watch different games here and there different players and uh, getting get as many views as we can and so finally, Nigel, where can people watch the tournament and when is it going to be taking place so that if people do have some of their own fans of their own junior players that are going to be on this team where they can see them play under the big lights? Yeah, the, the tournament will be in Truro, Nova Scotia. Uh, they hosted it out there in 2019 and, and uh, all reports it was a fantastic tournament. Uh, Grace Hoax community 
Um, so looking forward there. Um, you know, I'll, we'll we'll take off and, and begin tournament play, um, pre-tournament play, I should say, uh, December 7th out there with some practices and a, a pre, uh, pre-tournament game. Um, and then it'll go from the 7th to the 17th of December. Um, and then it's also uh, fans or anybody wanting to watch it can watch it online and, and uh, you know, it'll be streamed through the Hockey Canada and with some of the, the finals being on TSN again. Thank you so much for all the information, Nigel, and hopefully you and Team Canada West can bring home a gold for us here in the western part of Canada. Yeah, thanks, Thomas. I appreciate it.